Hello, welcome to today's edition of Pegasus Test. On today's edition, we're covering watering parties. Water is the stuff of life. Don't believe me? Ask NASA. They're sending probes all over the uh, solar system looking for water because if they find water, they think they can find life. If they don't find water, they don't bother looking for life. Water is life. And keeping your force well watered is the difference between victory and defeat. And that's no joke, it really is. Uh, if your force runs out of water, they run out of energy. When they run out of energy, they can't perform their basically soldier tasks. And they can literally be forced off their objective from basic thirst because they have to stop doing what they're doing and go find water. What you're about to see here is a watering party from the Blue Four during the Bravo Company 2022 fall semester execute a watering mission. This party leaves. They go to the well, which is represented by a Lister bag, and they fill up not only their own canteens, but all the canteens of the members of the patrol. They do this to keep their patrol in action, and the great thing is this, this was done by junior leaders in the patrol. The patrol leader and the assistant patrol leader were out on ambush operations, and one of these team leaders was left in charge of the patrol base, and when warriors were coming back off the ambush, because they had exhausted their water, she organized a watering patrol and sent it out to get water for the force. Let's take a look at what happened. Admittedly, for crossing a large danger area that they have to get to the well, you could make the argument they're too close and too bunched up but I would counter that with they're using speed for security and their fellow soldiers back at the uh, patrol base have them covered with light automatic weapons. So it's an acceptable risk. As they approach the watering point, they establish security. You'll see one member peel off into the woods and set up a covering position. Another member will go to the far side and do the same while the other members of the patrol fill up all the watering containers. Here's where you're going to see one of the examples where canteens have an advantage over hydration systems like camelbacks, hydrostorms, and whatnot. Right here, uh, when you're not wearing it, carrying a hydration system becomes a bit cumbersome. It becomes even more so for the people who have to take it out on a watering party. Whereas your canteen is very simple to empty a butt pack or sleeping bag. Uh, Willie Peter bag or a rucksack, depending on how many I've carried, and fill it full of canteens, and then go fill it up at the well or whatever watering point you're getting it from. Uh, hydration systems have to be deconnected from gear or uh, pulled out of hi uh, hydration carrier pouches or whatever, given to the watering party who have a cumbersome way of carrying them, and then have to be brought back. It just makes the whole watering detail a lot more difficult. Canteens should be carried even if your primary uh, way of watering yourself is from a hydration system carry canteens just for the ability to refill it easily as you can see the process of refilling the various water containers is a slow process and also one that requires the direct attention of the people doing the watering therefore the rest of the party has to remain on security so the waterers can maintain their concentration on what they're doing it's hard to fill up a canteen or a camelback and keep your head on a swivel at the exact same time. It's what plants crave.
Notice here, as the people that were doing the watering completed their task, they switched with the security element so they could water up before moving back to the patrol base. One of the things to remember about water is the pint is a pound the world around, or water weighs eight pounds per gallon. There's no way to make lightweight, lightweight water. There's no way to make dehydrated water. There's no way to make water lighter than what it is. It is what it is. This patrol is now laden down with several gallons of water. So they're moving out quickly, but now that they're burned down, they're not going to move as quickly as they did coming out. Also, to help preserve the location of their patrol base in case they are being observed, the patrol takes a different route back. The watering party completed its mission successfully. They had no contact with the enemy, which is what they desired. They, however, did this tactically because they might have contact with the enemy. They had a few elements out on ambush, and when you're on ambush, you're immobile. You're on where you think the enemy come, but the enemy gets a vote. For all they know, enemy patrols could have gotten past their ambush and be down in this area. So they had to act like they were in a zone that was not safe. Turns out, in fact, the enemy did not get this far south in the AO, but they still had to uh, act like they had, and they did this watering party pretty much to standard. We hope you found this overview of the importance of a watering party helpful and informative. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and tune in for future videos on tactics.